up? It's your boy D here. We rocking out. I'm going to show you how you're going to buy your first credit. So, boom. You're going to need a loan officer to get you pre-approved. He's going to run your credit. He's going to check your assets, check your income. Now, if you get, the, the better your credit score and the more money you can put down on the house, the better you, the payments. So, if you got a 720 and you drop down 20%, good for you. If your score is 580 and you can drop down a 3.5% and get an FHA loan, it's still not bad. You're still going to own a home regardless. So after you get pre-approved, he's going to let you know, hey, listen, man, this is the type of house you can afford. You know, this is what you qualify for. A $200,000, dollars dollars $600,000 house. Cool. Then you're going to go find a realtor. You're going to call me. You're going to call me. Yo, Dean, what's up? I'm chilling, bro. Yo, I'm ready to buy my first crib. I bet we're going to meet at the office. Boom. Call me. I'm going to be a chief nego negotiator. You know, I'm going to make sure we get you the best house for the best price. So, boom. After I find you your crib, it's going to be an option period from five to ten days for an inspector to come and inspect the house. Make sure there's no leaks. Make sure the, the, the roof is working fine, the air conditioner, the situation, I'm sorry. All those things are working fine. Now, boom, after you find the house and we go through the whole option period and the inspector inspects the house, cool. We're going to submit an offer. We're going to say, hey, listen, this is what my client can do. You know, the loan officer is going to submit the application to the seller and say, hey, listen, he actually got the money. He can go and he's going to get qualified for the loan. So we can proceed on. After that, you're going to run into an underwriter. The underwriter is going to decide whether you're approved or declined from the loan application that you got from the loan officer. Hey, listen, yo, it works. It's working out or it's not, period. After that, um, we're going to go to closing. That's when we're going to sign all the documents and dish out the money that goes to certain places. So for example, like the title company, he's going to dish out, okay, this is how, this is go here as far as like, this is going to be your closing cost. This is going to be, you know, the commission that you're going to pay the real estate agent. The money's going to be dished out equally. That's why the title company is there. He's going to, that's his job. Don't worry about that. Next, um, you own a home, ain't no next. You own a home, man. It's that simple. That's the process. So, um, also, 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 you're going to have to have money put aside for miscellaneous expenses. Like having food in your new refrigerator, paying your friends to move, buying them some honey, buying them some beer, things of that nature. Um, you're going to have, you have to put money aside for that. And um, it's not as hard as a lot of people think it is. All you got to do, man, is just save your money. Save your money, keep building your credit score, and go to a loan officer to see what you don't have and work towards that. Go backwards. You know what I'm saying? Go there and say, hey, listen, I want to buy a crib. I don't know nothing. Um, show me how much money I got to save to get a certain type of house via the price. And then, boom, he'll let you know that. And then after that, like I keep saying, you will contact me, and then we'll take it from there, man. So that's the process of buying a house. It's real simple. It's real easy. Any questions, hit me up, and have a good one, bro.